This is it, guys. This is the last of Loki. Welcome to the Logger Pothead Joe Pop Putty Man here, and welcome to the season finale of Loki. Now, we've gone, gone down a long, hard road. Um, whether or not this is the best series, it definitely, in my eyes, beat out uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, WandaVision was, was good. I don't know if I can compare this to be better. Um, but, you know, we'll go into details at the end of my review. Um, first and foremost, if you haven't done already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's quick and easy, but really helps out a small creator like myself. It's sad for me to say that this is going to be the last we're going to see of Loki. Um, next is going to be the What If series. But of course, you guys didn't come here for me to talk about what's to come. You came to find out what Easter eggs we have and how much I enjoyed the episode. And boy... I've enjoyed the entire series so far, so we'll get to that at the end of this episode, but um, um, as far as um, if I loved it, of course I loved it, um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go into the Easter eggs, and at the end I will give my final thoughts after we go through the Easter eggs, so let's begin. So, one person as two. First Easter egg in the of the show, blown away. Predicted it, but blown away. So let me go and explain why I say predicted it, but blown away. So first and foremost, um, if you heard, um, um, if you heard, uh, um, Miss, um, um, Miss Minutes, she was calling him, uh, the, uh, He Who Remains. Now in the comic book, He Who Remains is the guy that made the Time Twisters, and then once they um, perished, the Time uh, Keepers, which we saw the Time Keepers from Mechanical Devices. And um, uh, uh, He Who Remains first appeared in Thor number 245, I think it is. Yeah, this is right here, 245. Um, and so here's the thing. Here's the situation with He Who Remains, all right? He Who Remains created the Timekeepers. He's basically the end-all, beat-all when it comes to it. But I love what they did with the twist. Because what you guys don't realize is this actor right here, I can't think of his name right now. But this is the same actor that is playing King the Conqueror in the new... Um, uh, and the new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So, this thoroughly confirms that this is Kane the Conqueror, okay? So, Kane the Conqueror actually uh, appeared in, um, um, uh, uh, two comics. He, he, um, he first came in as Rama Tut in, uh, um, a Fantastic Four issue number, um, uh, 39, I think it is. Um, but I'm, I, I know him more for his Avengers issue number eight when they first showed Kang the Conqueror. So, it's been confirmed, ladies and gentlemen, Kang the Conqueror and He Who Remains are the same person. So, this is confirmation. I love seeing this confirmation. We were all pretty much right. The hints were everywhere anyway. We already knew. But now, it's a matter of seeing what happens next. Another big point I forgot to bring up here um, is that King the Conqueror does have uh, the ability to manipulate time. So, in this scene right here, in the, I guess what you might call this is an elevator when they tried to assassinate him, he just full-blown just used time. And you see, um, in the TVA, they use the time the same way. So, it's just perfect that King the Conqueror was the one. I don't know why I forgot to mention that in the last part. But anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. Again, he can manipulate time. Let's continue. Uh, note here... Um, am I the only one that thinks this is weird? Isn't he just kissing himself? So, we are at the end. And you might be asking, well, where is all these freaking Easter eggs? Well, I went into King the Conqueror and He Who Remains, and I've shown you guys those. Uh, those. But then I'm sure you guys have questions about why Mobius could not recognize Loki and what's going on, alright? There's several things I want to uh, talk about real quick when it comes to spoilers of this last episode of Loki. First and foremost, keep in mind, they are making a, a season two of Loki. They knew this would be a big show, so they've already prepared for season two. You may be wondering, well, what about Kane the Conqueror? Here's my thing. I think that either one of two things can happen. He said there was an evil version of himself out there. The multiverse is let out. There is another other, there's now other pathways other timelines, which is going to bring in the multiverse. 
here's the thing. Uh, if you guys aren't aware with what movies are coming up, the next movie we have is Shang-Chi and then The Eternals, which we both got trailers for. Then after that, we have Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Now, this is going to deal with the multiverse, and this is also going to connect with WandaVision. But a lot of people don't realize is... Um, even though this is going to delve into multiverse, I think this was going to be, I think because of the pandemic, um, everything got shifted. So basically we were supposed to have, um, we were supposed to have Dr. Strange happen right before the end of Loki happened. All right. Then we were going to go into Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The villain in Quantumania is... A.K. is Kang, the Conqueror, A.K. the one, the he who remains. He is going to be the villain in this movie. That's the reason why I knew when I saw this guy that this was Kang the Conqueror because it's the same actor that has already been set up for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I think because of the pandemic, timelines have changed, just like in, in, in Loki. That's the reason why, at this point, we're going to have the What If series come out next month. And then Hawkeye is going to connect Black Widow... And what happened at the end of Black Widow, which you haven't seen it, spoiler, I'm not even going to tell you. You just can't have to watch my review or go watch the movie and then come back and watch my review. Um, which I will be leaving a link to that at the end of this video. But my point to the whole thing is, is it, it, uh, uh, the timeline is broken and at the end there you saw Mobius where he could not recognize uh, Loki. Um, uh, because, he, uh, because of the whole situation of him being like a variant. But that's because the timelines are now splitting and what's probably happened is, is Kang has done exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to be killed by Sylvie. And because he knew that was going to happen. And in return, Sylvie killing Kang the Conqueror or the good Kang the Conqueror, which they didn't even call him. I think this, I think the one we saw was what I mentioned earlier. That is Rama Tut. That is the one that is the good one that tried to keep the good timeline. And now we're going to have the multiverse. This is going to also uh, set up stuff like secret wars, things of that nature, where I think they're going to be able to have those massive wars with other universes, which is also going to bring in Deadpool and those universes. Keep in mind, Kevin Feige has already spoke with Patrick Stewart about him coming back. And there was a picture of him and Hugh Jackman. So they could use those in another multiverse or another universe that could show them but not keep them. And Loki right now is going to be the first time we see how the multiverse is broken. I think we weren't supposed to get this information until after, um, um, until after Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But again, I could be wrong. The timelines are so broken just alone with us watching this and the movies that we might already be in the timeline here that we were supposed to be in before when it came to the movies. I know that's hard to, uh, to fathom just because of how confusing it is, but it's true. All we know is King the Conqueror is uh, the, the good King the Conqueror just died and we now have the bad King the Conqueror. Because if you look at the end here, you see he looks at the statue this is the King the Conqueror. I want to even show you guys one thing real quick. Um, and I'm going to try to do a side-by-side, -side, even though it's going to be kind of hard with the pictures and everything. So let me do that real quick. So, um, if you look, this is King the Conqueror, all right? Um, I'm going to show it this way, actually. Okay, so you see how he has that visual look here, where he has that collar there? All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one up. Look at this. Same collar presentation. Of course, he doesn't have his mask yet. But this is the King the Conqueror we want to fear. And now he has control of everything and time, which means it's the evil version that controls the time. That might be the King the Conqueror that did that the other one did not, or, or he who remains. We'll call that one the he who remains version. And then the one that's going in the Quantumania, the King the Conqueror version. He who remains was trying to stop the timeline from being broken. And then, uh, King the Conqueror wanted it to happen. So I think Quantumania is going to link to this, but we have to wait till 2022 in order to see that information. Because that's literally when Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, Quantumania. So I think what's going to happen is, is we're going to get those two movies and then we're finally going to get season two of Loki that's going to be the bookend for those shows or those movies. I don't know. All I know is things are happening unbelievably and things are going crazy. 
If I missed anything in my, my reviewer Easter eggs, you know me. I try to get these done things done quickly. Comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you hit the like button. I'm also going to throw in a special video I did for Deadpool at the end of this and my Black Widow trailer. So, or Black Widow review and Easter egg. So, if you haven't seen either one of those, please go check them out. Then, as always, I am Putty Man with Game of Potheads. This episode was amazing. I'm sad to see this show go now. We're going to have to wait till next year in order to see season two. And we still have Hawkeye coming up. But next month, we do have What If, Marvel's What If. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel. Um, and also make sure that you guys have notifications on so you guys are aware of whenever I will be doing these videos. But as always, I am Putty Man with Gamer Potheads. And do not forget, we're about to score. Peace out. I'll see you next season.